The plan for today's stream is we're going to go and watch every grand final from the very first one all the way up until uh, the most recent one by Televis BDS. We're going to compare what the like, you know, first to second, second to third, and then compare as we go all the way through. Starting off, I by power versus Flipside Tactic. This is the very first grand final ever in Rocket League history. Now, I'm also going to say a lot of these I haven't seen. I didn't get into Rocket League until about like here, I think. So a lot of these, I actually have no idea what happens. I am not that well versed in um, RCS. I know who wins this one, though, because this is like iconic, you know? Over zero. Achinio and Kronobi makes up the last. This is back when like even the way they watch the game is different. Also, as we go, try and figure out, like, at this point, what level will these players be at if they play it in today? Is this, like, you know, Diamond Champ in today's game? It's so much slower. No arrow. So much hesitation on the back wall. Kronobi is just backing up. You see that? Kronobi just reversing. Jesus. Over zero. Oh, my God. Like, blatant misses on the goal line. Hey, look, you know, this is the this is the origins of the game. <laughs> look at the <laughs> look look how long it takes over zero to rotate out here. Like he's still like everything about it is so slow. It's like no strategy almost. Wait, how's the aerial game? Oh, it's so shaky. Over zero challenges. The camera work is so weird. Where is the defense? Bro, where is the defense? Maki Duda is just... Oh, backflip. Kronobi. Wait, there's just no one there, man. Where is the defense? It's crazy just how slow this looks by today's standards. Great touch by over zero. Teammates bumped each other again. The play off the wall is not bad, but as you can say, the aerials are like just aren't great. Uh, you know, as it happens as well. That's... Nice. Okay, so the very first Grand Finals are in Rocket League history. As you can see, not the best gameplay, but that is to be expected. Where are we putting it? Are we saying Diamond 3-ish? I'd say Diamond 2, Diamond 3. Uh, you know, it's in that area. It's in that area. Next up, uh, next season is Market Aces versus Flipside Tactics. Again, I don't know when the camera quality gets better. Gameplay is already much faster. They're using the walls better. I've seen a demo for the first time. Oh, a little bit of an air dribble. Ooh, some pinch. It seems like... Oh, Greasy Meister. It seems like boost usage is all over the place again. Because no one has saved any boost to get back. Okay, Debo on the wall. How are we doing? Great touch. Wait, open? Where's the... Dude. Oh my god, Pashi's like iconic car design as well. Yeah, the defense still isn't there. They're definitely much faster. Um, the chemistry is much better. But the defense is still isn't there. It's kind of... Not like aimless touches but like they're touching the ball just for the sake of touching it it seems like they're not touching it like with purpose you know like oh i have to hit this diva goes up great what? all right we're halfway through the game almost where would you put this one you've got maybe diamond two and a half it seems faster than what i imagined diamond is you guys saying plat three diamond three is generous you guys would put this below what we just saw maybe we maybe we started off too high Let's see, the dribble work, good 50-50. Where's the player on the ball? Okay, that's... Look at how much space Greasy has. Devo is here, the other player is here. Like, that's just giving the ball away, you know? We can put, like, Zed over Tira against this, this entire team at this point, and I, I feel like it'd be clean sweep. Ball up. It's, that's, oh my god, that could've been it. That should've been it. That is probably going on the ground. <laughs> There's no way that Castle was saying anything just then. Oh, off the ground! <laughs> what is he saying? All right, how we do this? Oh, we're learning backboard play. Good, good. Maki, slam down. Greasy. Double? 
No, okay. No, we've got backboard defense down now. It's fine. Oh, actually. Great shot. And there it is. And here's the marquee shot. Yeah, there it is. That marquee shot. That's the, the iconic marquee close up. Not only. <laughs> bro, <laughs> sorry, I've just noticed this. Not only look like, look at the stadium difference between this and, and what happens in like, you know, the later years. But imagine being this dude right now. Look at this dude in the front row. This dude is getting blinded. <laughs> that is directly at his face. Um, much faster play. Not too much has changed. Aerials are the same. They've learned backboard defense, which is solid. But there's still just kind of double commits. Rotations are a bit off. Defense is rough. Uh, it's, it's a bit all over the place. Today's video is sponsored by War Thunder. Now, if you somehow don't know about this game, let me explain why this is a must have in your collection. Not only has War Thunder completely nailed its combat system, it is the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made. In War Thunder, you get to play as more than 2,000 tanks, helicopters, planes, ships. You can try them all in dynamic combined arms PvP battles. Every single vehicle is modeled down to their individual components with incredible detail. You get an in-depth customization system for vehicles where you can apply different camouflages, place historical markings anywhere on the machine, as well as other 3D decorators like bushes or equipment. This is easily my favorite part of the game as I am a big fan of changing up designs and making the vehicle feel like my own. The game has incredible graphics and detail in 4K resolution, beautiful music, and an atmosphere that you instantly get fully immersed into. And on top of all of that, it's free on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. New War Thunder players across all platforms, as well as those that haven't played the game in the last six months, can claim a large bonus pack by using my link. The pack includes multiple premium vehicles, a premium account, an exclusive 3D decorator for your vehicles, and much more, and is available for a limited time only. So jump into a vehicle of your choice today and download War Thunder for free using the link in the description or the link in the pinned comment. RCS Season 3. Turbo enters the scene. The two goats are playing. You mean, uh... Oh my god, it's way turbo and K dub, right? Bro, it is way faster already. Look at the speed of play. This is wait, read that. This is already such a massive step up. This is way, way, way faster. They're using the walls better. They're challenging in the air faster. There's like very little hesitation. Devo's already going. There's someone back, Fairy Peak. Look, they're not using boost and they don't need to. We're getting into proper Rocket League. <laughs> Literally C2. You think C2? Backboard defense is it. We're back. This is it. This is good. This is good gameplay. Oh, never mind. A team. Oh my god. Never mind. Just a team bump from Miztic into a goal. Unlucky, unlucky. So, like, everyone is really solid, but there is nothing spectacular, you know? Like, this is speedy play, but there's very little mechanics, but it's much faster. And they're pretty consistent with their touches. Off the wall? Good touch. Okay, yeah. So a bit more comfortable using the walls, which is nice. Definitely, we're, we're in the champ area now. Could be champ one, two, or three. I, I can't figure it out. That's so awkward, though. Like, even here, you have so much time, so much boost. Just slam it into the ceiling. Maybe it's a, a nerves thing. I feel like Turbo doesn't get nerv nervous. But then again, this is before he's won any wheels. So maybe he just kind of slams it. Two. Wait, touch left. Of course, Fairy keeps it up. Debo. <laughs> and this begins the start of Turbo's spree. Where he goes crazy. Okay, on to season four. This is Gale Force versus method now i don't want to spoil anything but we're gonna be watching just the final match one team is up three uh three to nothing so place your bets on who you think is gonna win could go either way turbo kate up violent panda how is the gameplay so if, if we said last one was like champ one champ two champ three how are we rating this one this is way faster are we half flipping oh my god we're not 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 only are we not half flipping we're kind of styling there was just no need to do any of that. No, wait, we're half flipping. He just didn't feel like it right then. Great read. Much, yeah, like 100% much faster. The 50s are even cleaner. People are maintaining their boost as they move. Good demo. All right, how we play this? Pass inwards. 
I like it, I like it. Good touch. Pass. Oh, it could have been a double attempt or something. Great shot from a lot. Land. Boost pad. Wait. The air roll shot. Okay, so generating more power. Great shot. Like, it's not like they're doing anything fancy, but they're doing it all so well, and they're doing it, their decision making is so fast that it's like they are playing to a higher level than what the mechanics are showing. Not that mechanics aren't there, but like they're less prominent in the game. Yeah, see, they're playing. Wait a minute. Hey, just he's just showing off a little bit. I understand it. That's the first double tap I've seen in the final match of a grand final. This looks like non-mechanical GC1. I think we're all, yeah, I think we're all saying this is about non-mech, non-mechy GC1 is is this this time period. At this point, I still haven't gotten into the game. I still haven't watched Rocket League. I don't know what Rocket League is at this point in, in the RCS like lifetime. I have no idea what this game is at this point in my life. Good read, pass down to a teammate, Never mind. Oh, kind of. What is this camera work? Oh my god, they're gonna score. Let's pan to the person furthest away from the action and we can just maybe find out what happens. Oh, hit that. Oh, bit of a fake. Backboard. Aerial. And mine. And this game. I'm getting anxiety. This happened six years ago. <laughs> okay, Panda hits it down. I'm trying to figure out when they score. Surely you slam this. Great touch. Again, again. Hmm. Turbo. Oh. There's also redirects coming in, which are kind of sick. We're like almost mechanical. This level is almost mechanical. There's redirects, there's play off the backboard, there's aerial play. What? Two players go for the boost and miss it. He slams it and Metsunoru's backflips. k up wins. Just k up. Turbo's just won his second world championship in a row. k up wins his first. And uh, Violent Panda gets his first. Everyone in the crowd is still getting flashbanged non-stop. At this point, do you think K-Dop looks like Adrian Brody? Do you guys know who Adri Adrian Brody is? Mm, you know, maybe I'm just wrong. Next up, NRG versus Team Dignitas. This is NRG's first World Finals appearance. Three all. Look at the venue, damn. The last time they had an NA winning team was season one garrett g fireburner and justin are taking on kdop turbo pulsar and make sure i get this right yeah panda again the team has stayed together after the world championship win justin justin is here and all of a sudden mechanics have entered the rlcs everything is a step up uh almost an unlucky on goal the camera work is better. The replay system, the, the commentating, everything is just... He's pre-jumping the dunk. Hits it right. Justin takes the shot. Oh, sorry. Takes the touch. Way, way faster. Drops it down. I forgot the crowd did that. Wait, Turbo is in the Batmobile? People are still using the Batmobile at this point. Gary G. Backboard. Turbo reads it immediately. Justin, bro, okay, I know we haven't seen much air roll, but like, the second Justin enters the scene, right? Look at the air roll already. So, touch, flip, air rolls for recovery, flip, air rolls, lands, air rolls for recovery again. That man has air rolled more in like two touches and two recoveries than the entire RLCS for the first three seasons. Fire burn for those you don't know. Oh my, I like you. Is a 50-50 god. What a save, though. Look at this by Justin again. I thought it was by Garrett. Justin again, man. A wave dash. I've seen a wave dash. Mechanics are in the RLCS. We're back. Justin was truly forced to be reckoned with back in the day. Justin is still a crazy player. It's just, this was back in the day where there was like, no one was great. Like, oh, just such a good shot, man. But like this is back in the day when mechanics were just entering and Justin was just so mechanical when you compare him to everyone else. He was so good. What was that? Did you hear that in the background? Someone screaming? She screamed NRG? Yeah, 
Yeah, she did. That was like a gut wrenching, gut wrenching scream. K Dobbs up. And it's not even that he's up. He's up and he's attempting the double touch. Great infield pass. Wow. So not only are mechanics in the RCS now, the passing is so much better. That's me. I would have shot. Great shot. Great pass. Good bump. Good bump from Fireburner. Something that, unfortunately, we are not going to hear at the end of this game. Uh, and if you know, you know. Dude, spoilers. It's five years old. Eight, seven. All right. Turbo slams in a goal line shot with four seconds remaining. Now, to the average viewer, that is the end of the game. There was four seconds left. It's over. To those of you who know, uh, we begin to witness the most iconic piece of RCS history. The touch. Off the wall. The most iconic uh, call, the most iconic shot in RLCS history. Justin cements himself as a legendary player. Justin, challenge in the year. The USA chance start. Fantastic. God bless America. Touch. Fireburner hits it. And then Fireburner. Bumps his teammate. And they lose. For the third year in a row, Turbo Pulsar has won the RLCS World Champion. k up wins his second, uh, as well as Violent Panda. That, that, you know, that is the legendary match. It's unfortunate. What do you guys think? Where, where are we putting them? Where are we putting them at that rank? Honestly, they're better than GC1. They're 100% better than GC1 players. I have to put them GC2. He is back. Turbo Pulsar has made his, uh, has returned Time up against a legendary team. We have the same three lads, Violent Panda, Turbo Pulsar, and K-Dop. But we have Torment, Gimmick, and Mr. This Decal is Amazing, Squishy Muffins. <laughs> Everyone keep your eyes on this kid right now. So apparently dabbing has been uh, invented by this point. Oh, damn it. <laughs> All right. The do oh, I forgot Kinnick was a Dominus player. That's so weird, man. So last season we saw a, uh, we saw mechanics come in and now we got Squishy. How did he score it? Touch, wall, jumps immediately, pre-flips, touch over top. Fantastic shot. Sorry, I've just read this kid foreshadowed Epic buying Rocket League. Oh. Uh. <laughs> This, it, like, it might not be as mechanical as, like, GC3, G2, G, like, SSL these days, but you have to look at the, the... I say that and he just misses the boost. How fast and how precisely they're doing everything. Realistically, the SSL... Oh, I missed the goal. What happened? Turbo touch. Final Panda down. Great shot. So we've definitely seen rotations, uh, like, in full effect at this point. And the pot... Hmm. The passing is way, way better. And the camera quality. Not only the camera quality, the way they're following the play is so much nicer to watch. Good touch. Gimmick hits at the corner. Squishy follows. Do we see mechanics? Oh, I thought we were getting a reset or something. Is the reset in the game yet? Not like in the game, but has someone had a reset? I was in the game at this point, I think. I think I was playing at this point because I bought the C9 decal because it was sick. Wait! There it is. That's the first time we see a reset. Well, in this in this section of goal, this section of, of gameplay, crazy shot. Touch forward, gimmick. Squishy in this series is like kind of just like a different beast. He exudes so much so much pressure in his game that it, it's kind of it must be insane to play against. We got one dude. Wow. Every time I go to say something, this guy's score. Squishy's up so early, beats him and gimmick reads with a redirect. Jesus. 
already from season one to this, we have way faster play. People are aerialing way faster. There's redirects, there's infield passes. There's, uh, you know, better kickoffs. There's better camera work. It's... Look at him, he knows he's about to win as well. This man's like, oh my God, my YouTube career. I can just upload gameplay for the rest of my life and I'm sorted. Watch the boys on the left, watch their faces. They know. It's over. Squishy. Oh, That's such a nice moment. Oh, you can't be too upset, Lance. You just want two back to back. Season seven. There he is. Mr. Rizzo himself. King. The stick driver. <laughs> I forget Rizzo's got messed up settings. So this is uh, Scrub Killer's debut in a grand final. Great touch. I don't know about K-Dop. Scrub and Fairy are very, very well-known ones players by this point. Arguably the best in the world. This is where they, uh, they're just so fast, so good. They don't need, like, you know, they don't need much boost because they're just so solid. Their shooting is crazy. Their movement is solid. What is this? Rizzo with, oh, with a fake. Balled by Rizzo. Ooh, quick jump. Rizzo challenging. What a save. It's kind of weird seeing Fairy Peak in a, an Octane, honestly. Another fake by Rizzo. Oh my god. The flick over one. The shot. But you're up against Fairy Peak. This man's a 1v1 monster. You see in a minute 30, where are you guys putting this game, like, gameplay-wise? G3, SL, GC3, GC3. The series is a little bit less mechanical. Like, this is a very methodical, kind of, not ones style of play, but like the players on, on, uh, Vitality are ones players. And so they are, like, high level shooting, flicks, good air dribbles, nothing too fancy. Sometimes I forget Rizzo is a pro player. I just know him as like the personality of the scene. Like everyone just kind of loves him. And I'm like, oh yeah, you were a pro. Wait, a shot? A double? Oh my god. They're a lot more methodical. Like, they're not slamming the ball away for no reason all the time. He took his time on the wall, made the play. Great shot by Chicago underneath. Great challenge by Rizzo. Fairy Peak is, oh my god. I was gonna say so patient on the backboard, but wait. I've never seen Fury rage. Does he rage there or? Oh, he doesn't. I thought he slammed his death, but he literally just went. So at this point, the game is getting kind of, not quite to the standard we're up to now, but we're, we're very close. Like the game that we're at now is, I, I'd say the most mechanical it's ever been, obviously. Um, but it's just, I don't know. I don't see the, uh, I'll get to that later. Don't worry. Yeah, it's just. I'll get into that when it comes to it. For now, we have Fairy Peak scoring. Scrub Killer winning his first Worlds. Kedop wins his third Worlds there. Scrub and Fairy win their first. Season 6 was Squishy and the boys. In Season 5 with Justin and the boys. They lose, but like mechanics get introduced to the game. And those two teams are very mechanic like heavy, I guess. With Squishy being the front man and Justin being the front man. That team was, yes, they were like mechanical. But they were so solid at just being good all-around players. Because of their one play, uh, play style. Next, Vitality. Scrub Killer returns. K-Dop returns, Fairy Peak returns, up against NRG. This is, I think this series is the, the moment when everything becomes like a next, when the game becomes a next level game. This is when I think we hit SSL. If we don't hit it last season, we hit it this season. Yeah, this is when every player at a good level of mechanics minimum, they all have crazy game sense. They're all fast and all their touches have purpose. They're not just hitting it for the sake of hitting it. Garrett slams it away there, but he follows immediately, steals the boost, and now he's going to try demo on the on the way back. Justin sidewalls it. Have we seen a sidewall on the grand? Oh, wait, here it is. Justin with the air dribble bump. Well, air dribble. With the bump. Great demo on Scrub. This is just like, yeah, you know, like, they're using the sidewall for quick passes, going for double touches. Scrub immediately clears it. Turbo sidewalls, it goes for it again. Oh, almost a sick shot. Honestly, this the, the change from this season to the next one might be one of the biggest. Because right now, everyone is a really, like, you know, everyone's a great player. But, you know, every touch is like a shot, you know? 
They're all great plays, but it's like two or three touches and then a shot. But none of the shots are threatening. Great shot from Fury. Unlucky timing for me. Uh, even though this, you know, happened a few years ago, and I should have known that happened on me. Garrett. k -Dop is... They're still doing that thing. Where the ball comes to them, and when they go to clear it, it just goes straight up. It's been... <laughs> We've been calling it out for a few seasons now. Justin goes for a, a reset. One of the grand finals. OT. I do remember how this one ends. There it is. Crazy. So well deserved, man. And he's so fast in the air. Okay, we're all agreeing, right? This is SSL. From this point onwards, it's just SSL. Uh, obviously, after this moment in time comes a brief period of time called COVID. We didn't have anything for a while. And so the next one actually takes place, this is three years ago. The next one takes place last year -ish. Oh, like, yeah, you know, August 30th, 2022. We had online, but it was region, like it was regional only. It wasn't like international. Next up we have BDS versus G2 World Championship Main Event Grand Finals. Uh, all right, here we go. We have extra Monkey Moon and Seiko. Crazy team. Atomic, Chao, J Naps, iconic team. A miss. Okay, so may I, we could chalk this one down on nerves because there's a few big misses in the start here. Uh, that's in. Like a few big misses at the start. There's a bad kickoff. What happens here? Oh, just a good 50 50. So, like, now we're at the point in time where every player can air dribble. Every player can reset. Everyone can ceiling shot. Like, this is where the game became kind of every single player was mechanically impressive, you know? Yeah, this is where the game became tactical. Where you could watch the best players play, and it didn't even matter if you're watching. You could, you'd like, oh, I, I can't do that. Like, I can't really learn how to do that because I need to get so much better in the air. I remember watching this myself and being like, it looks so simple. But it's not. Even when they're not doing anything too fancy, it's just they're doing it so well that it looks easy. G2, like, it's not that they didn't play this one well. It's like they were all right, but it didn't feel like they were at a, a world final caliber, you know? But it could have just been because they were getting so outplayed by BDS. <laughs> As I say it, I mean, yeah, the game at this point is... Almost a completely different game. Oh my god. I forgot about that goal. That's a nice angle. Slots it over top, top right. Yeah, I can't say better than the caster. Legendary squad. Legendary team. Flowed so well together. Watch the face cams. I'll celebrate too. We won, boys. They were a crazy team. They were nuts. The casters also, like, no disrespect to any of the casters. They were always crazy. But the casters got so good. Like, I feel like every year the casting got better and better and better and better, you know? Next, the finals, the one that has just happened. We have Team Vitality versus BDS. The team that was unbeatable, insane. Nothing could stop them. As you can already see, the team that is absolutely crazy is down three goals to nothing. All because of a little Frenchman named Zen. And obviously Alpha and Rodosan. But this is where Zen comes into the LCS. Look, if we haven't, you know, if you weren't solidified on the whole, this is SSL gameplay before today, but before this match, we're sure this is SSL. Oh! I love that. That call is crazy. Every single one of these players is nuts. It's just crazy how good Vitality is this, this season. Oh my god, I forgot that shot. Just joined the live, what did I miss? 
Um, you've missed literally everything. <laughs> Wall dashing is in the game now. If BDS want to do something, they better start now because then it's cooking. The, the term cooking has been introduced to the RLCS with that call. I don't think we've heard that before this. 20 seconds. This is like a recent, you guys know how this ends. This is a recent match. They're just untouchable. Look at him. Look at him. He's so happy, man. Uh, it's such a cute moment. He's like so stoked. Yippee! <laughs> Both teams were nuts, but like on the day, well, not even on the day, for like the second Zen joins that team, they started winning everything. Wait, that's a cute moment too. If you guys don't know, I'm pretty sure it's this side. This is where all of the Vitality fans are sitting. Right, right like on the right here. So Farah is like kind of sat in front of him. He looks out and he just kind of go, he like, I remember it happening. He looks out and he's like, and he has to look away and Zen's like, yippee, like cheering to the Vitality fans. Pharaoh was just sitting there like taken back, man. Pharaoh is a model coach in more ways than one. Oh, dude, Pharaoh might be one of the most, like the most gorgeous man in the RLCS. Here, apparently, Zen is pointing to Vatira. He's pointing up at Vatira. He's like, no, 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 not you, not you, Vatira, Vatira. He's like, you, you. And then he goes on to say that like he loves him like fantastic play against loves him like a brother. Also, you can't see it like in the broadcast. The amount of cameras that were swarming Zen when they knew they were gonna win. So inside of knowledge, when everyone knew they were gonna win, right? 10 seconds left, they were up 2-0 or 3-0, or whatever it was. When they knew they were gonna win, like nine people ran to the stage with cameras immediately. They were so ready. You can see them all here, but they and like eight of them were like behind Zen. That he got swarmed. Here are your winners and new Rocket League World Champions, Team Vitality! And that is the end of the journey. Starting off with <laughs> Kronovi and the boys. Not able to air roll, not able to rotate, not able to defend, <laughs> not able to backboard defense, not able to shoot, ending with Zen and friends on his perfect run in his debut of RLCS. A good finish to the story. Once again, I wanted to say thank you to War Thunder for sponsoring today's video. And I just wanted to remind you guys that the new players or players that want to jump back into War Thunder again can use the link in the description or the link on the pinned comment to pick up the large bonus pack and start your War Thunder journey with a bang.